um, day two of our trip. We are at the Bedok MRT station. So yeah, we're living the life of um, nomad travelers today. As you can see, all the luggage is here. So yeah. Um, so I probably won't be vlogging too much today because we have too much shit to hold. Um, but we're just gonna go and walk around, kill some time because our flight is only much later tonight. Um, I'm definitely going back to Don Don Donkey because I want to get more of those uh, cooling lake sheets and uh, we'll see where we go from there. Uh, if I could film in the places then I would definitely bring you guys along but if I can't I hope you understand and also because I'm holding a lot of stuff so it's kind of hard for me to actually like, bring the camera out and all to kind of vlog so I hope you guys understand and um, I'll see you guys later. Let me take you somewhere new Let me take you if it's not too much to ask Let's forget about the past If it's not too much to ask Let's just try to make this last and Let me take you to somewhere new Let me take you to somewhere new Let me take you to uh, We just got out of the MRT from um or Somerset and then we went downstairs to cross over um, from Orchard Gateway into Orchard Central to go to Don Donkey and then I saw this store like I don't know if you guys watch Kim Dao or Sunny but um, this is the place that Kim Dao always say has really good like a um, Italian food for pretty affordable prices in Japan I didn't even know they had a brunch in Singapore so I'm really happy like oh my god Mushroom soup for two ninety, salad for three ninety. Like what the hell? Even the salmon salad is five ninety. Like okay, honestly, I'm not doing any conversions in my head. But if you're a Singaporean and earning Singaporean money, it's actually pretty affordable. Like smoked salmon for three ninety. Seriously, and oh my god, the pizzas are like what seven ninety. It's just like crazy and. Even the pasta as well, like five ninety, six ninety. Like it's just so affordable. And they have this in case you want to try. Uh no, I hate durian, so no thank you. But it's so affordable. Like even tiramisu is four ninety. Like oh my god, Opa was saying there's wine. Like literally, wine, wine glass for. 390 SGD. That's like super affordable. Even like beer, 490 for a bottle. Like what the hell? Like this is just crazy. Even the mains are affordable. Like sirloin so steak, 490. Seriously. Oh my god, this used to be 890 and they slashed it down to 690. That's crazy. Oh my god, they got so much like desserts. That's like crazy. Oba, what do you think of this place? Oba? I'm, oh. I'm, I'm trying to see if I'm trying to go in the Thai pineapple place. But you don't like pineapple on pizza. Oh no. Hmm? I've been good at that. <laughs> I want grill. 590? Okay, we're all doing that. You know you're the only one eating it, right? Huh? You know you're the only one eating snails. I don't mind. Hey, where else are you gonna find five ninety for a skywalk? That's like what? Don't count it. About don't count it. Sixteen ringgit in Malaysia. Where the hell are you gonna find sixteen ringgit snails in Malaysia? Like what the hell? I'm not talking about the snails off the ground, but so are you having pasta or pizza? I really don't know. I, I have to actually look through the menu because everything is like I am just trying not to come with it in my head. But like it's kind of affordable in a way like honestly if you earn singaporean dollars it's pretty affordable yeah i actually didn't know that a branch in singapore so i'm kind of happy that i found this by accident so yeah i'm gonna order and then you'll see what we're gonna eat so we just ordered, uh, we ordered a mushroom soup and the drinks bar here is uh, self-service so you can pick what drink you want and you can just keep refilling it for a certain price. Uh, water is free here which is a good thing um, and then I really want to try the buffalo mozzarella cheese but they don't have it today so I guess that gives me a reason to come back one day. Uh, I ordered 
the Owen Grill at Escargot and uh, we also ordered the Mentaiko flavor shrimp and broccoli uh, pasta plus the four cheese ravioli and a tiramisu as well. I know that seems kind of a lot but we're not really going to be having anything else to eat today other than snacks and we're probably going to have dinner at the airport. I'm still hoping to try this one burger from um, McDonald's. So yeah, I'm hoping that the McDonald's in the airport will have that burger. It's this buttermilk chicken and according to Aaron, uh, Opa's nephew, it's really good. So I want to try that. Um, so yeah, we'll see how this goes. I hope it tastes yummy. Um, have wait. So this is a mushroom soup. It's pretty okay portion for its pricing. It smells good. Can't wait. Wow, this is the mentaiko um, shrimp and broccoli pasta and it looks pretty good actually and it's quite a bit of portion actually. So this is a grilled escargot and then that is the four cheese ravioli. It looks pretty good. Can't wait to try. I love this place. Service is good. Food comes really fast. Oh, but what do you think of the mushroom soup? It's okay. I actually quite like it. I just wish it was a little bit more popular, but I guess it was okay. Somewhere new, let me take you. Okay, I'm almost done with my meal. I'm slowly taking my time to savor the Mataco pasta, but. Here's my wedding. Um, I pretty much like the mushroom soup. I wish there was a little bit more pepper, but it's okay. As yeah, Opa when I found like a huge giant pepper for me after I said that. Um, the escargot is not too bad actually. Um, if you eat snails and stuff, just that it's a little bit oily and quite salty. I was drinking a lot of water, so um, you might want to reconsider. But it doesn't taste too bad, and for 5.90 SGD. For that's one, two, three, four, six escargots. I think that's pretty okay. Um, the ravioli, I only have one bite of it. It's okay, not super my thing. I prefer my ravioli with like um, spinach, um, but it's cheese filled. Um, Oba, what do you think of the ravioli? Uh, it's okay. It's okay? Uh, I realized the mentaiko pasta, uh, it's really good. The papaya is very nice. I haven't had a bite of the shrimp yet. And yes, for those of you guys who are concerned about my stream allergies or what, Opa has antihistamine on hand, so don't worry on that. Um, the pasta is pretty good, quite al dente. Um, it's a little bit dry, so if you're not really into like dry-ish pasta, then maybe this is not your thing, but it just tastes pretty good. Um, so we just have to wait for the tiramisu um, to be served later, once I'm done with my meal, and then, yeah, and then we go walk, walk around, and the entire meal was about about close to 30 SGD. Um, honestly, if you don't do conversion, it's not too bad. Like I said, anything that you do conversion, you will just feel an ouch, especially if your currency is lower than Singapore. Yeah. So this is the tiramisu. It's like a tiramisu with ice cream, I believe. So I'm about to finish my mentaiko and then we're gonna eat this. Nom nom. Uh, we had the tiramisu. Um, top layer is ice cream and bottom layer is like the cake layer thing. It's actually pretty good. I kind of like it. Um, so yeah, we're done with a meal. So we're gonna pay and then we're gonna like uh, walk around and yeah, we'll see how things go. The cream place is open today. It wasn't open yesterday. So we are done, done, donkey. I'm going up to the item market later. So that we're downstairs at the supermarket. So this is the Hokkaido ice cream. I ordered the milk flavor. Oppa, how does it taste? Like the milk we drank yesterday. <laughs> Can't wait to eat it.
To never forget all the pain We could treat it like a game Let me take you to somewhere new Let me take you If it's not too much to ask Let's forget about the past If it's not too much to ask Let's just try to make this last and Let me take you to somewhere new Let me take you to somewhere new Let me take you to somewhere new Hey guys, we're now at Plaza Singapore Sorry I didn't really vlog just now We were in Wisma Atria, I went to Ikea House And I went to lunch and I got some stuff Um, but yeah, I was We were carrying way too many stuff So I couldn't really want and the minute I got out of the MRT, I was like, Opa, there's Beard Papa here. And he's like, are you really sure? I'm like, I smell it. And then, yep, literally we came up and it's Beard Papa. My sense of smell is really good. Yeah, so um, we're actually here to find Daiso and Miniso and probably see what else is here. We still have a little bit of time to queue before we have to go to the airport. Um, Kind of sad I couldn't get to go to the Gude Tama Cafe but it's a little bit out of the way so I guess I have to do that the next time. Um, so yeah, let's go and walk. Hey guys, I'm literally just sitting on the floor <laughs> in the what's this station? Dovigawa MRT station because um, yeah, my feet are just killing me. Um, Opa is on my ticket. I only get my ticket because I got myself an Ezilin card. It's like their train pass. I really got it because um, we bear bears look so cute. So this like 12 um, sing dollars so the cut is like five dollars and there's like seven dollars value inside of it which i thought was pretty okay i guess i mean you can like continuously use it uh it doesn't really expire i don't know i don't know about the expiry to be honest but i think as long as you keep like using it every couple of months or something it should still be okay um so yeah we are going to the airport already um mainly because uh, today is a public holiday, so the commute might take a little bit uh, more time, maybe more people. Um, also, once we get to the airport, uh, we have to kind of repack some stuff before we check in. And then we have to take a bus from the Terminal 2 to Terminal 4 because um, the MRT stops at Terminal 2. Um, and our flight is at Terminal Floor 4 and then most likely we will like hang around, have dinner and you know, just wait for our flight. It's yeah, it doesn't even feel like two days to be honest. Uh, it feels long and yet short at the same time. Um, yeah, I, I feel a little bit better for this trip this time though. I don't feel so hectic or rushed. Um, I actually managed to take my time to walk around and yeah, I walked around to my feet really really hurt. Like my feet is actually like on fire right now. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll see you guys later at the airport. Yeah, see you. Since we bought stuff, um, we have to repack and we actually had to find like a quiet corner or something at Terminal 4 here to just repack. But look, there's actually a place for you to repack. That is really, really awesome of Changi. I've never seen this at uh, any other airport I've been to actually. Where is your boy tonight? I hope he is a gentleman. Maybe he won't find out what I know. You were the last good thing about this part of town. So 
we ordered the what's this? BBQ chicken with egg. BBQ beef with egg and Mac the, wings for you. Mac wings. I don't really eat chicken wings that much. It's just that it happens to come with the there's this like sad fiesta. thing, a uh, fiesta thing with the um, BBQ beef. So we just thought, okay, since we don't have this in Malaysia, I think they may have given us the wrong Coke size too. This is small. Medium is bigger. Yeah, I understand the medium. I had was so big, I couldn't finish it. And uh, that's the fries. One thing about Singapore fries is that it tastes the same like Malaysia, just that I find it a bit saltier, including the nuggets. Really chili. Oh, do you ask them for the chili packet so you can bring home? Liquid. Check the nuggets. I know, those kind of liquid can. My back has skin care. After we go and get, including curry sauce, if can. Okay. Um, yeah, as I was saying, the nuggets yesterday had a little bit too much spice, so not really my thing. And uh, my buttermilk chicken is uh, on the way somewhere, so yeah, waiting for it to come. Moment of truth. This is the buttermilk crispy chicken. I didn't actually try this the last time I was in Singapore in January because I really had Mos Burger before that, I was full. So I had a little bit of a regret, I didn't manage to try it. I wanted to try it last night, but the store was sold out. So we finally got it here at the airport. So this is the signature collection by McDonald's. Let's open it up. So, it says at the box here, Indulge in a crispy buttermilk chicken pie cutlet, laid on a bed of crisp romaine lettuce and coolly cheese drizzled with black pepper mayo, topped with crunchy purple cabbage and grilled pineapple rings. I love pineapple on savory food, so. Oh my god, it comes in like a little bag. It smells good. Okay, I'm gonna have a bite. Ah, it's hot. Okay, warning, it's hot. And, oh my god, this burger is huge. I can't even like, pull it properly. Okay, I'm gonna have truth. I'm gonna bite into it. It's very hot. Oh my god, Karen was right. This tastes amazing. Like, I, I don't know how to describe it. It has like a very crispy chicken and it has like this sweetness of pineapple and the vegetables and then there's some cheese and oh my god, it's just so good. Like, seriously, like Singapore, I have to give it to you. I've never super liked McDonald's burgers other than like the four pounder. But you guys, oh my god, you guys really did it. This is so good. Please don't ever remove this off the menu. Like, I would legit come back to Singapore just to eat this again. It's so good. Okay, I'm gonna let Opa try it now. Huh? Later. Okay, Opa said he's gonna try it later. So I'm gonna slowly eat this. And yeah, and by the way, if you're in Singapore and if you manage to get, Try to get the garlic chili sauce in packet, it is so good. Like, I normally don't even eat chili McDonald's, but this chili is amazing. It's actually inspired by chicken rice chili, but it tastes even better than chicken rice chili. And um, they actually pleaded to the kindness of the staff here because probably normally they don't give this out in packet if they're not doing takeaway. But um, we explained that we are Malaysians, so the staff kindly gave like two packets to us. So, Thank you so much, you're so nice and honestly my trip um, in Singapore has been amazing thanks to amazing staff that I've met as well so far. All the shops I've been to, um, practically almost everywhere that I've went. Um, the staff was very nice, very kind, very helpful. Um, so yeah, I don't know, I just, I just kind of like it. And yeah, I'm gonna continue eating and um, most likely we're gonna like I don't know, I'll probably walk around like the duty free zone later after we, we go through immigration so I don't think I can really shoot anything there because duty free people are a little bit more sensitive about like shooting and stuff 
so I will see what I can film I will try to slot in something before I go on the flight but if I can't, I'm sorry I'm just letting you guys know first that I'll be ending the vlog um, after I get back to KL I'm just tired, like exhausted actually yeah, it's been a very cool two days and so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video so far although I know there's not a lot of footage I'm so sorry about that yeah, see you guys Papa has decided to lounge here and be like one of those maniacal bosses enjoying some sculpture wheel thing. Papa. I can't tell if it's light or it's reflection. It's light. It's light, sir. Tell us what you think in the bottoms in the comments below. Papa, let's move. Papa, I'm supposed to be even in my throat and enjoying the view. What do you ask? Yeah, there's no view. The view of luggages. <laughs> I just realized I don't have a thumbnail. He's a gentleman. Maybe he won't find out. I know. You will ask me things. Look at the snazzy. No, it's so cute! It's so cute! Uh, it's in front of Zaka SG um, next to the OCBC ATM uh, at Terminal 4 if you want to find him and hug him. He's so cute! So that's our plane. We're waiting to board. I'll most likely end this vlog once we land back in KL because my battery is really really low. I didn't charge it yesterday. Um, yeah, I actually got a little present for myself from Joe Malone. It's my first ever Joe Malone. I'll definitely um, show it off in my haul video. I'm really excited about it. Um, I couldn't stop thinking about it after I smelled it. So yeah. Hey guys, uh, I totally forgot to end my vlog at the airport. Uh, so sorry if you can't see. Um, but yeah, Jing and Jason came to pick us up. Hi! Thank you for picking us up. Um, Battery's running out. So yeah, I'm gonna end my vlog here because the battery is running out. I'm so sorry if today's vlog was not up to expectations. I couldn't really shoot much because we were carrying a lot of stuff all over Singapore actually. And I shall be the thumbnail. Yeah. Um, okay, so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for like my whole video. I will try to shoot as soon as possible. And uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye!